Hi there, welcome to a new video. It's Vivi Cameron for Tonic Studios, and today I'm going to be sharing ideas and inspiration to use the Tonic Craft Kit number six. With this kit, you are going to get Nubo glitter markers. These are water-based markers. You are also going to get Nubo drops. You are going to get a package with four different colors of glitter. Let me show you the back of the bottle so you can see better the colors of this glitter. And you are also going to get a stamp set with five individual stamps, adhesive dimensional foam pads. You are also going to get paper in different textures and different shades of blue. And this paper is beautiful and perfect for die cutting. And last but not least, you are going to get an amazing die set. There are nine dies in this set and it has been designed to create an easel card. But of course, you can create a wide variety of paper craft projects using any of the butterfly dies in the set. With these butterfly die cuts here, you can embellish a card, a tag, a box, many different things, or you can also layer them up on top of the stamped image to add interest and dimension to your projects. So I just want to show you also that the stamp set coordinates with the dies in the kit. I'm going to show you now one of my favorite things to do with this kind of butterflies. I love to stamp the butterflies on vellum. I die cut the butterflies and then I glue them on top of a solid butterfly die cut. I think this is a very easy way to create embellishments for your cards and you can stamp the butterflies on vellum in many different colors like those in the picture here. These are not projects made with the Tony Craft Kit number 6 but with very similar products and I really wanted to share this first idea with you today. I also like to stitch those vellum butterflies to the cardstock to create an even more feminine and delicate composition. Now I'm going to show you how to put together an easel card using the dies in the set. So this is an A4 sheet of cardstock, I trim it in half and now I'm going to place the die on top, I'm going to use a piece of tape just to keep the die in place and I'm going to run this through the die cutting machine. And that's how I get two pieces in one go. Of course, you can die cut one by one. And now I'm going to use this large butterfly die here to die cut this piece of white cardstock. And I want to show you how beautiful that negative space is. And I want to show you something here. With a piece of paper like this one, you can easily create a card like this. I also use the paper in the kit, the nubo drops, and some sequins. So while I cut the pieces to create the easel card, I also wanted to share with you this card idea using the negative die cut. You can also use this die cut panel here as an stencil, and at the end of the video I'm going to be sharing a quick demo about that. Now you can use this die to die cut the edges of that butterfly, but I'm not going to do it like that. I'm going to place these two dies together on the paper and I'm going to run them through the machine. So that's how I cut this butterfly in one go. That's my butterfly and now all I have to do is to give it a little bit of shape with my bone folder. So I'm going to grab the bone folder like that and I'm going to break the fibers of the paper just to give it a little bit of dimension. That makes all the difference. I'm going to die cut this solid piece here as well. And I hope you can see there the holes this dies creates at the edges of the butterfly wings. It's just beautiful. So I'm going to layer this up like that. And that's how this card is going to go. Now I'm going to put together the base of the easel card which is the easiest part and perhaps the quicker. So I'm going to grab a double-sided tape. I'm going to tape this here and I'm going to make sure that that tape is firmly adhered to that cardstock. 
and I'm going to stick these pieces together like so. You can also place one of the die cuts on top of the other and glue them together at the bottom here. So now I'm going to add double-sided tape and all I have to do is to fold the paper like so and my base is done. This takes like 30 seconds, so it's super quick and easy. But then, you know, it takes a little bit more of time to decorate the card. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of sponging a little bit of distressed ink and splatter some water. And I also decided that I want to use this Nubo Mousse. This is Pacific Teal Color. And I'm going to use this spoon to get that mousse out of the bottle and to blend it with a little bit of water and splatter this on the butterfly. I just wanted to add some texture. With the same double-sided tape, I'm just going to stick the butterfly on top of the other one and I'm going to add glitter. And now I'm going to stick this butterfly on the car base. So the car is done or the front of the car is done. All I have to do now is to die cut another piece of cardstock to glue it just here. I added a banner and it says you are God masterpiece. I'm also going to add the butterfly antlers. These two tiny and delicate die cuts here. And once this is done, you can do some stamping or just write a message in that area there. So this is the easel, but then I thought that I want to do something else. <laughs> I want to stick the wings of this butterfly in the top corners like that. And I thought it might be a good idea just for someone to put the card just for example on a table and they will be able to see the message in the back has well the message in the front and it will stand alone. And this is ready to put inside an envelope. So here I'm using also the colors in the craft kit this month. But you can create this easel card in any color. For this card here, I use the navy blue cardstock in the kit. And I also use this beautiful burnished rose craft perfect cardstock. This is by Tonic Studios as well. And I really love the way this cardstock looks together. It's just amazing how the same thing can look so different depending on the paper you choose to make it and the colors. And I have here another sample using one of the papers in the kit, believe it or not, I just completely changed the color of this paper using markers. Something I want to tell you, you can try water-based markers and this paper is like a magic paper because you won't be able to color this paper with any water-based product. It simply absorbs the ink and after a while it just looks normal, like if nothing happens. So then I just grab this Cooper marker which is super strong and I start adding color on the paper and that's the way I could change the color of that paper. So that's kind of an extra idea for you today. Okay, so I use white glitter paper behind this die cut and I thought that I can also stamp a banner and finish the car like that, but you can also inlay this butterfly on a panel to create a card like this one here. So once you die cut the butterflies from a piece of cardstock, you can use that scrap piece of paper to make another project. I like to inlay the solid butterfly in a contrasting color. This is black, but you can use any other color. And then glue the intricate butterfly on top. But if you don't want dimension, then you have the option to use the negative die cut also to create a card like this one that I already show you. So now I'm going to share with you this project. This is a notebook cover. I don't know if you like these kind of things or not. And I would love to know what do you think about this kind of projects. Your comments and suggestions are always welcome. And the only way I have to get some feedback about my work. So at the moment, I'm using a white marker to draw some stars and dots on that background panel 
to give a little bit of interest and to you know if I leave it just black it would be flat I do this very often uh, in my cards I like to add dots and that decorative element around the die cuts you can see here in this card the same idea applied in a completely different project so adding those dots and starts is a very very small thing it's a small detail but it makes a huge difference to the projects. You can do this with a white, a black, or a glitter marker, or with nubo drops. I'm also going to use some of the little balloon butterflies I made at the beginning of the video. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to add color to that butterfly. And while I do that, I'm also going to show you some extra ideas. So you can emboss the paper with the dies in the key and I want to show you how it looks. You are going to need a mat, this is an embossing mat, and all you have to do is to place the paper on top of the mat, then the die, and run this through the machine. I'm using a big shot die cutting machine instead of the tangerine because I tried the tangerine, of course, and it's so powerful that with this specific die, it tries to cut the paper, even when I'm using the embossing mat and the embossing plates, etc. So with the big shot, I just get this subtle embossing, which is very soft and absolutely beautiful. You can use that embossed paper as a background panel for a card, but I'm going to die cut this using this die. And once I have that done, I'm going to stick on top of this embossed butterfly an intricate die cut. I'm using a stick and a stay spray adhesive by Crafted Companion to do that. And I'm doing this because the raised area of the embossed image is kind of popping through the holes in the intricate die cut. So you can see that raised areas there and it makes all the difference when adding color. And to add colors, I'm just using Nubo Creative Pens. I'm using a black pen here. And I'm going to play some music so you can focus in what I'm doing. As you see there, I didn't apply any fancy or perfect coloring by any means. What I did was filling the die cut with color using the markers. I used flicking motion the whole time, lines. I also splattered the ink of the marker by tapping the marker against another pen and I used the glitter pens to add a sparkle. Then I also used nubo drops to embellish the butterfly and that was all. I also use Nuo drops and some of the markers in the kit this month, but of course you can use similar things to add a little bit of a sparkle. So just in case you want to make something like this, this is a way to do it. You can of course color this butterfly in so many different ways. And there are many ways to color this as people to color it. But you know, when I saw the sticker in the craft kit number six, it has some black and blue butterflies, I decided to try to make something like that. I don't know why, <laughs> I just did. So the last thing I want to show you is how these butterflies will look if you use the dyes to create a stencil. So I'm diluting here a nubo mousse on water just to create a spray. 
and this is a normal die cut. I use a thick cardstock, and I'm going to use this stick and spray adhesive by Crafter Companion. It will keep the die in place, and it's going to provide a temporal bonding. So I can easily remove this mask or stencil once I finish applying colors. You can spray colors like I'm doing here. You can do some blending, use embossing paste, etc. And this is how the butterfly is going to look. Now I'm going to use the negative space and I'm going to spray again the paper with the same adhesive and I'm going to use Nubo Mousse. I'm going to use a silver and purple color and I'm also going to apply the mousse using this Nubo brush which is just super cool. I'm also going to splatter some of the mousse like that but at the end you won't be able to see that. <laughs> so I'm just going to add the purple shade of this mousse at the edges of the image and I'm going to remove the mask or the stencil and that's it. So now you will remember that if you need a butterfly stencil you already got one if you have the craft kit number six by Tonic Studios. So this is a very brief idea and has always the sky is the limit. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and check out the links in the video description. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.